Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In the previous video we have learned how to use watch table in TR Portal. Today we are going to talk about force table and how to use it to test the program. A force table overrides fixed values to a peripheral input or peripheral output address. I open the simple output on off program that we have written in the previous video. Sometimes we want to turn on or off an input and we don't have any access to that input. What can we do? The solution is force table. You find it here. Double click on force table. There is always just one force table and you cannot uh, add another one like watch table. We can add our inputs using their name or address. Write in address box input address which you want to force. You see here is written P. P means force table has direct access to PLC peripheral. It has access to hardware and it works directly with input and output peripherals, not with tags. It's like we press a start button. Or we can say we're not uh, influencing the program. We are influencing the hardware. For example, I will show you uh, if we have an input in memory, uh, we can force it. These three buttons uh, here are like in watch table. You can insert or add a row. And with third one, you can write a comment. These two buttons for monitoring are also like watch table. With this one, you can monitor our tags uh, immediately and for a few seconds. With this one, the tags in force table will be permanently monitored. As you see, we can't monitor inputs and outputs because force table work with peripherals and physical hardware. In this mode, the default uh, setting, as I said, is permanent. In expanded mode, you can specify defined trigger uh, points for monitoring. The triggers are like watch table that I have uh, already explained. To force an input, right click on it and click on force to one. It asks do you uh, want to force it, uh, click yes. You can see output is activated. If you have a real PSC, output indicator will be on, but indicator for uh, input is still off because I, I have forced the input. Look at PLC status uh, LED. Maintenance LED is turned on. That means also that PLC is uh, in force mode. If you look at your code, uh, it is written F uh, about that input. And here there is a little F. And also F uh, in force table. 
they all indicate a uh, force mode. If you force the input to uh, zero, then if you press the start button, nothing will be happened and output will not be activated. You see, uh, we can't activate the input in PSC simulator because the input is forced to logic zero and you can uh, change it to one. For doing force, uh, you can also write your value in the force value cell and press enter. Then to activate the forcing, click on force. As I said before, we can't uh, force a variable in memory. It's very important to know even if you make uh, your CPU stop, the force will be still active. Sometimes the variable in force table are deleted and you don't know which uh, input is forced. To find it, click on update force and TIA portal will show you uh, which one is forced. To remove forcing, go to force table. Click on here to stop the force. Everything is back to normal mode. Or right click on your variable and select stop forcing. You don't see little f and maintenance uh, LED is off. As I said before, if you uh, stop your PSC or close TIA portal, the force uh, remains active. And also if you reset the memory, force uh, remains active. I reset the memory. Then I go uh, again online. You see force is, is still active. But if you uh, turn off the PSC power, uh, force mode will be deactivated. Another important thing, if the CPU is executing the user program from a right protected memory card, you cannot initiate or uh, change the forcing of input outputs uh, because you cannot override uh, the values in the right protected user program. Any attempt to force the right protected values generate an error. The digital input output uh, points used by the high speed counter, uh, pulse width modulation and uh, pulse train output devices are uh, assigned during device configuration. When digital input output point uh, addresses are assigned to these uh, devices, the values of the assigned I.O. points addresses cannot be modified by the force function of the force table. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will learn how to use basic instruction in TIA portal.